It's one of the most compelling questions you can ask and the one humanity has been asking since the dawn of time. What is outside the known boundaries or what exists outside the horizon of our maps? The ultimate version of this question is what exists outside the boundaries of the whole universe? Well, the answer is complicated to have the least. So to discuss this question, we must first define the term universe. If you consider universe to mean literally everything that possibly exists in all of the space and time, then there can't be anything outside this. And even if we imagine the universe to be a finite volume of matter and consider something outside of it, then whatever is outside should be included in the cosmos as well. Our universe came into existence some 13.8 billion years ago roughly and has been expanding since then. Most importantly, it has been expanding since its inception at an ever increasing rate. Our universe is only a few billion years old and the light only travels at a speed of 300,000 km per second. So according to the history of the universe, we haven't received light from every galaxy. The observable universe is 90 billion light years wide. And if we come to its end, we can't find anything, as we can see or major. But there are several theories on this topic that what exists outside the boundaries of the known universe. One brand, so we will discuss it. Astronomers believe that there is not anything outside the universe and the space which is outside the observable universe is an infinite expanse. The second theory revolves around the phenomenon known as dark flow. Astronomers discovered something strange in 2008 in the sky. They saw a cluster of galaxies which were moving in the same direction and they believe that it could be a massive object from other universes which gravitational forces should be attracting these galaxies. These massive objects could be anything from astronomically prone accumulations of matter and light to weird space time bombs generating gravity from other universes. But the recent research has claimed to discredit the theory of dark flow, but this claim is still being debated. The final theory consists of a universe of universes. Means in this theory, astronomers believe that our universe is contained within a small bubble, bubble, which is in the wide array of other bubbles. Theorists refer to this to a multiverse. And surprisingly, this theory proposes that one day these universes will come in contact with each other. The gravity from these parallel universes will flow and when they connect. A big bang, similar to the one that formed our universe today. All these theories might seem confusing and complicated, but don't worry, these theories are only to allow us to cope with the concepts that are beyond our comprehension, and that's the advantage of cosmology. This is all about my topic, thank you.